and welcome everyone to this video on decomposition tree visual. I'll show you how to activate this from the preview features and then I'll walk you through three essential calculations of decomposition tree. The first one with or without AI splits. Second one AI split with absolute feature and lastly AI split with relative feature. Now you may have gone through some of the videos on decomposition tree but these three options are very powerful and must be studied in detail. Let's proceed. Now I'm using the same sales data and I'm using this decomposition visual. To activate this, you'll first have to go to file. Within file, you'll have to go to options and settings and then click on options. Within that, you'll find something called preview features towards the bottom and then you can activate decomposition tree visual. Let me proceed now. Now, I already have a basic decomposition tree and let me explore the fields with you. I have the field called analyze and I have another field value called explain by. So I wish to analyze the sales, which is nothing but the sales column and explain by what? It could be by category, it could be by country, it could be by city. So let's explore. To begin with, let me choose the first decomposition tree visual. And let me bring in category to explain by and then let me search for month. Let me drag and drop the month as well. Now, as soon as I do that, I realize there's a small plus button that is appearing there. If I click on plus button, let's first explore the basic parts. Let's say category. So you'll get your sales split for the year 2015 in terms of the category of products, technology, furniture and office supplies. I can cross this out to go back and then click on plus and then also choose month in that case. See how the sales for 2015 has been split across different months. Now you might be wondering what is this high value and low value where this is where the AI split comes. The bulb sign that you see refers to AI split. What is AI split? It's an option in the format which is appearing under analysis tab. By default, it is always switched on with the feature of absolute. So let's study what is absolute feature of AI splits. If I click on the plus and I click on high value, let's study the numbers. In 2015, I had sales of 484,000. That's close to half a million dollars. Now with analysis type absolute, it gives you that split automatically, that is category, which has the highest absolute value in the first. Now to understand this best, you also need to understand what is relative. So let me go back, change the option to relative and suddenly I see my options changing to month. Let me go back once again and try this again, high value and this time it's relative. Now you might be asking, what is the difference between relative and absolute? So let me show you that data in Excel. If your sales is 484,000 and there are 12 months, in which case on an average per month sales is close to 40. Now I realized the September sales was 82. So basically September sales is almost twice the size of the average sales. Remember this ratio. Now let me go back and categorically split this based on category. Now here also my sales is 484 and there are three categories. So ideally the average sale per category should be divided by three. And I look at technology sales, which is the highest sale. And that number is 175. Here the ratio 175 divided by 161 is 1 1.08, which is far less than 2.03. So in the war of relative AI split, this one will win. The idea is it shows you those matrix which are more relevant relatively. Let me minimize this Excel and let me go back to absolute. Now, even if I go back and choose high value, you will always get technology, furniture and office sales. So between the category and month, absolute war is won by category and the relative war is won by month. Now, if you do not want AI split, you can very well go ahead and disable that. And let's see what happens if I do that. 
So it doesn't give you high value and low value. It simply gives you the month and category, which means the user can choose either of the two. There is no AI split option that is being put to use here. So my suggestion is keep the enable AI splits. And if you do not know what column is more relevant for analysis, you can go for relative and then click on plus and say high value. Of course, you can explore other option, just export data or remove that. But as of now, those are not that relevant. Let me take the second visual of decomposition. Let me choose relative. And in that case, let me bring different categories. Let's say month. Let me bring category. Let me bring city. Let me bring shipping mode. So I could analyze this data from different ways. And if I go back and ask my data, Hey, which is the more relevant out of category, ship mode, city and month where there is higher chances of outlier. I'll choose high value. It quickly tells you it's the city. You can also click on plus and keep on expanding your decision tree. If you want changes in visualization, you can go to data bars and change the colors. You can go to category labels and increase the size of the text. You can go to tree and choose the density, whether it's dense or default or whether it's sparse. So a lot of times I prefer to keep it dense by default. It gives you top 10 and you can scroll down and down to see the remaining. So I hope the discussion of AI splits with or without absolute is clear to you. And I hope this can be really useful in gathering insights about data, which you have not seen earlier. And you want to find out which matrix is more relevant than the other. If you don't practice this, you'll forget it. You will never learn. So why don't you download the practice file from the description given below? You're one click away from learning new technology. So why don't you subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates.